Uh, so, hi, uh, Ben Shepherd here. Uh, it is now uh, about 10 past 12, coming up to 10 past 12. Uh, Cammy and I arrived at about 7 o'clock this morning to set up for goals on Sunday. Uh, we had a two hour live show from 9.30 to half 11. Phil Parkinson, who of course managed Bradford City to the League Cup final last year, was one of our guests, as well as Peter Reid, who not only is involved with both Manchester City, but of course Sunderland as well. <laughs> My name's John Champion and I'm doing the commentary for the world today on the television, which sounds rather grand, I'm not sure that it always is, but my job basically is to relay events here at Wembley to broadcasters everywhere except the United Kingdom. My role today is I'll be working for Sky Sports, doing the analysis with uh, Gary Neville, Kevin Phillips and Niall Quinn. It's always a good day, a few nerves, but it'd be, it'd be nice to see a good football match, plenty of goals and that gives us plenty to talk about at the end of the game. my 40th year as a broadcaster, I've covered as a reporter a number of League Cup finals in the past, but as a commentator, I am breaking new ground, even with these bags under the eyes, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can still have new experiences. Well, I'm really lucky in that I get to uh, be pitch side hours and hours before kick-off and see Wembley Stadium come to life ahead of this Capital One Cup final. We'll see the two teams uh, arrive on the pitch and get a chance to uh, savour the atmosphere and the build-up to the game. Hi, I'm Neil Ashton from the Daily Mail. I'm in the uh, Wembley press box. This is the press area where we're we'll working later this afternoon. It's been an interesting day because I've been presenting the Sunday supplement and uh, live from the press box. It's the first time we've ever been out of the studio to present it live from Wembley, so a completely different experience to what we normally go through. All we're hoping for is a cracking game and a fantastic day for all the fans from Manchester City and Sunderland. I reckon it should be a special day.